I'm assuming one of your close lion encounters, right? The one where you're sitting in the, the Jeep or the, the truck, whatever it is, and you're in the front seat, your, your legs are like basically hanging out of the uh, of the open door. No, not the open door, the low, the low door. There's no door. <laughs> Oh, there's no door. Okay, so you're hanging out of the, uh, the the gap where a door would normally be if you want to protect yourself from wild animals. But you hang your your legs are hanging out of there. The lions, a lot of lions, are walking right next to you. Like I mean, right next to you. Like uh, they could just swipe you and give you a tap on the leg. Yeah, I think <laughs> we forget that. There's, um, I'm based in an area called the Sabi Sands. And yeah. they actually have this thing that they call the Sabi Sands complacency syndrome. Because what happens is because the animals are so habituated here compared to any other area that you start yeah. to forget that, not intentionally, but you start to forget, you know, this is a wild animal. And of course, it's yeah. a wild animal. You would never do anything stupid. But you do have these moments when the animals get very close to the car that you just think, crap you know yeah. lions are so much bigger than they look on tv they are really really big so much bigger than yeah. a leopard and you know you see this powerful body of muscle walking past the car and you think wow you know and it's a nice reminder that you are a visitor in this environment you know your heart pumps and but you do i mean all the animals are just so habituated and it is a case that sometimes you really do need to slap yourself and just remember that you know that it's a wild environment you mm. are a visitor but yeah there's some scary moments and uh, this is not the clip that you're referring to but we had one moment at night time when it got dark we used to do a lot of nocturnal filming using infrared lights and flare cameras and I, I parked next to a fallen over tree and I just drove the car into the tree thinking oh, you know we'll be fine I'll reverse and the lions heard a noise so most of the pride jumped onto the tree, the fallen over tree oh. to have a look at what the noise was. But the rest of the pride thought, ah, and they jumped onto the bonnet of the car. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was really hard. They weren't looking at us. They weren't even, you know, acknowledging us. They were aware of the car. They know what the cars are, but they were obviously trying to see where the noise was coming from. And because there was no room left on that fallen over tree, they just jumped onto the bonnet of the car. And that, wow. that was a pretty surreal experience. Thanks for watching that clip. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and check out the full episode. All links are in the description. Be nice, be happy.